I'd say the, the most fun I have here is when we have our spontaneous, crazy ADHD moments in the kitchen. What would you say was one of your most fun memories at Leaders Academy? Janessa went crazy and she was screaming at David and Dante and then I decided to tape Savannah's phone on the wall because she was going to leave or something. So I was like, no, we can't get her to leave. When we had our snow day and Paul decided to have class and we were all like, oh, it's fine because <laughs> our class building is right there. There's still ice on the ground, right? So we all walk out and Danny just eats it. And then we have interns just sliding down the hill. Apparently, I didn't know this about myself, but I sleep talk. I was sleeping one night and Victoria walked in. She was using her flashlight to look around and I apparently just sat up in bed asleep and was like, are you taking a picture of me? <laughs> and then she was like, <laughs> One time we went to the beach, we threw frisbees, and then we did spike ball and just hung out, and it was really cool. It's really a wholesome time. When we had Quest, a more upbeat song started playing, and I just look around, and all the interns, all the kids are just jumping up and dancing and singing, having a dance party with Jesus, and it was the best thing ever to just see the joy of the Lord. I just remember feeling so happy and knowing like, okay, I'm doing this with these people who I love so much. Our RA, Colton, walked out in the kitchen and he had a mattress, and I just start jumping into it, hitting it and bouncing off. One more, and I said, okay, one more. <laughs> and I don't know why I agreed to it. I backed up, I was like, this one's gonna be big. I'm trying to knock, knock him over. Try to jump into it, and Colton just swerves right out of the way, and I hit our hard concrete floor, and then I slide into our chairs and tables. Paul canceled all of our classes for a day and took us to hike a mountain. And when we got to the top, I thought I was gonna fall off because it's a lot skinnier on the top of the mountain than you think. We were just sitting there on the rocks and Paul was telling us this amazing story, but the whole time I was looking down at the ground and I was like, if I fell right now, it was very fun. <laughs> we decided to take a bro day, so we got our canoe, went two miles out, uh, got there, hiked around a little bit, swam some, and found a 15 foot tall cliff to jump off of. I had never done it before, and so my first time I completely belly flopped, and it felt like I had been hit by a truck. When I first got here, I would wear my hair curly all the time, and so people would assume that I was black. And I was like, you know what, maybe I should go along with this as a joke. And so I started playing around and be like, yeah, I'm black, my dad's black but he's from Mexico, <laughs> sorry. And so, um, I think a whole six months, even probably till now, people don't know what I am, but I'm actually Mexican. We were driving, we passed this dead possum on the road. It hits me, possums play dead. I park and then Renee tries to throw a stick at the possum. She misses by a mile, we're dying of laughter. So I back up, we're getting ready, boom. 
I back into a mailbox and <laughs> he was super kind and he called me and he was like, don't even worry about it. He said, honesty is rare these days. I think that bonded Renee and I in a very special way. <laughs> it was so funny. Valentine's dance. It was an amazing event. And I got Chloe. Why am I always like, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna dress up as a king. So I dressed up. Glenn hit a sneaker in the kitchen and was like, play One Direction. You don't know you're beautiful. <laughs> and I walked in there. I kneeled down. I was like, Chloe, will you marry me? <laughs> she said no, but <laughs> she didn't want to go to dance with me. So like, it still worked out. <laughs> the boat race and we're rowing we're rowing we look over and Dante and Chloe are booking it so I'm like these people should be in the Olympics and I'm on the verge of tears our team is like freaking out and I look over and Dante and Chloe are like spinning towards the dock it was the funniest thing ever we're going and you've never seen my face so determined we're going we're going and like we're winning we're beating them and I get off and I'm like whoa did we just win and Rhett came up to me and he hugged me and was like you just beat Dante that was the best accomplishment ever. One of the first few weeks we got here, we watched a UFC fight. Josh Barnett, Colton, Austin, a bunch of people were there. And this is one of the first times that Natalie and I were rooting for different people. Now, little did we know this was going to be the greatest fight of 2021. It was so crazy. We were all jumping up and down, yelling at the TV. And the best part of it all, the guy that I was rooting for won in the end. It was so much fun. Me and Carly decided that we were going to go buy a fish. So we go to the pet store. He was blue and he's really pretty and he was male and we named him Enrique Swim Shady Miguez Wilson. Obviously that's what you name a fish. I think we had him about a week. I get back from class, Carly's crying, and like the dorms are like a mess and like what's happening? Enrique had passed away and we still have the fish tank. We went out to Benton. We were gonna go bowling. Well, it was closed when we got there. So we decided, oh, let's go ice skating. Well, we were driving with um, somebody we made you know 50 wrong turns there's cops going everywhere we hit a turn we almost miss it we like slam all the way danny's like going everywhere and we finally get to the ice skating rink now we have fun and it's just an awesome time definitely one of my favorite memories super bowl i'm a big sports fan so your girl loves them i was pro i don't even know what team was i going for what team was i going for? i don't know but it was anti rat that's all it was <laughs> I, did. I don't even know what team i was going for <laughs> we're like hyping this up all the entrants are in the kitchen ah. my homie red he's going for the opposite team he was winning almost the entire game he was going like all up in my face your girl was calm and then fourth quarter my team started winning and then i won in the end i'm usually a pretty good winner i take the l or i take the w but today no 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 baby <laughs> Danny brought a snake into the student center. She just found a little garter snake and she wanted to bring it in and show everybody. And Lucas like freaked out. I can't describe what happened. <laughs> it was just so funny. The way he looked at it, and he was just like twitching. He was like, he was like, get away, get away. <laughs> it was just so funny. So we made we made a video in the very uh -huh. beginning of the year. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna get you to watch it back. It's scary. Leaders Academy helps because we can see the importance oh, yeah. of community. It's helped me to realize how important it is for me to grow up as a man and lead my family. Are you glad you went to Leaders Academy? Yes, it's only been a week and a half, but it oh has gosh. been a very, very good decision and I've already grown That's so crazy. much. We're only a week and a half into this program and I've already seen such a huge change in, in myself and the habits that I have and in the people around me. I think it's really cool that we're going right now to start our day with 30 minutes of prayer and then we're going to all go work out together. Lord, what can I say? You show me endless Oh, I'm such a baby. <laughs> The thing that stands out to me the most is I think my the insecurity I carried and like the grace that's been showed to shown to me in so many ways. All the leaders just being so awesome and pushing us. Obviously Paul, you know, me having talks with him and just that being super healing. I, I feel like I've come so far. I don't recognize the person I was. So being in an environment where people call me out of that in an encouraging way, showing me a better way to think. It's been amazing. Because I had no idea what was ahead, like no idea of all the memories that I was going to make, all of the things that God was going to work in my life that I didn't even expect Him to do. Classes like Management of Life, where I've learned to manage time, learn how to manage money, learn how to manage my emotions. 
that's a huge one for me because I didn't know how to manage my emotions. Wherever God would send me, I know that it's going to be successful by the knowledge and the uh, growth that I've experienced since I've been here. There's also been so much breakthrough and so much transformation in my heart that I had no clue needed to happen and I had no idea any of it was there because you're not going to get that anywhere else. You don't ever spend nine months getting closer to the Lord and really like learning and growing in such a concentrated way. It just sets you years ahead in the way that you would have grown just because it's so intense and it's hard because it's so intense but at the same time it's that's where breakthrough comes. insane what the Lord has used this church and these people to do in my life, so. Yeah, 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 yeah.